Ah, we're here in Alka Beach, West Seattle. In 1888, the West Seattle Land and Improvement Company, a group of San Francisco real estate investors, saw great potential in West Seattle and Alka Beach. They employed a steam power side wheelers named the city of Seattle to carry Oh, this is hard to read because it's on this um, clock here. These investors marked fresh air and 500, 115 horse lots within magnificent views for $88. After an eight minute ferry ride, passengers disembarked and were encouraged to ride the cable car, which looped up California Way and back down on Ferry Avenue. In the early 1900s, Sunday outings on Alki Beach proved to be popular, that a variety of transport systems from Seattle to West Seattle were used. Mosquito fleet steamers docked at the foot of Bonaire Drive. Then in 1907, a trolley car on a trestle came across the tide flats and ended at Alki Beach. At the same time, a bigger and faster ferry, the West Seattle, was added. In 1913, the steamer Falcon was enlisted to help transport a record 72,000 people who came to enjoy the beach. The Manchester Alder Ferry made regular runs from 1925 to 1936, a storm, oh, in 1936, a storm washed out the Alki Ferry Landing and service to Manchester was moved to downtown Seattle. However, the May mode of transportation to West Seattle, which had the most long-lasting effect, came in 1913 when a wooden plank road was laid along the old trestle. This was to accompany a toy for rich folks, the automobile. Should I wrap it or do you want to hear more? <laughs>